No, that's okay. There was no wait. I uh, just need to get two of the new buffalo chicken sliders, please. Yes, sir. What else do I today? I think that'll be it. Would you like to try one of uh, cookies today? So you know what? I would, but I'll probably come back tonight at dinner time to get one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. My mouth is absolutely watering you guys. I'm here at Arby's to check out their brand new Buffalo chicken sliders. Now this is in addition to their already existing menu of sliders, which I believe came out sometime last year. They have four or five different ones. This is the newest edition. It's here for a limited time only. It's actually a, a premium chicken filet that's tossed in a Buffalo sauce, topped with a creamy Parmesan peppercorn ranch sauce on a little slider bun. You guys, I ordered two of these things, $1.29 a piece. The total came out to $2.75 with tax. These things look absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to get it started. Now, of course, due to popular request, we are filming in 60 FPS, so make sure you check your settings, 1080, 60 FPS. We're gonna give that a shot on a few more of these reviews, kind of see how it goes. We might always go back to 30 FPS, get a little more of a cinematic feel. So let me know now in the comments below what you think about the new 60 FPS. I came here first thing as soon as Arby's opened up, 10 a.m. this morning. These things are going to be fresh. I only had to wait a couple minutes at the window. Super friendly people here at Arby's, just like that southern hospitality you guys like. I'm just going to shut up for a second, which half of you tell me to do because I talk too much. But this is a review show. I like to talk. I like to show off the food. And this is no exception. Look at this. Oh, huge chicken tender. You've got that... Uh, Parmesan ranch peppercorn sauce there. It's not blue cheese. I've already seen a couple of these reviews here and the reviewers got it wrong. No surprise, <laughs> but your boy Justin will get it right. Look at that. The bun is about the size of like a King's Hawaiian roll. This is a nice roll. It almost looks like a potato bread. It kind of has a little bit of that flour on top of it. Not sure what kind of bread they're using here. It's probably just a white bread, but it kind of has a little bit of, woo, woo. I don't want to get my nose too close to that, <laughs> that buffalo sauce. Look at that. Wow. Fits nicely in the palm of my hand. Of course, I have huge hands. Here's the second one here. Let's see if it looks just as good. <laughs> you can see a little bit of a difference between the two. I'm sure that the uh, tenders are probably around the same weight. This one's a little bit chunkier, but same kind of thing. I'm going to go in on the one that looks the best. And if it's as fire as I'm expecting it to be, we'll probably down the second one, maybe in one big bite. We'll see how it goes. Check out the sliders. They have five or six different ones. This is the newest one, the Buffalo Chicken Slider at Arby's. Mm. Oh, totally sauced up. Got the nice buffalo sauce going on there. Really strong buffalo, kind of a Tabasco flavor. It's almost more of like a Frank's Red Hot sauce if you're used to that. That peppercorn uh, ranch with a Parmesan in it just on point it'd be really good probably with some blue cheese but i think majority of people go for like ranch with wings or with buffalo tenders i personally love blue cheese but a lot of people don't so i can understand why arby's probably didn't choose to go with the blue cheese most people just generically like ranch but they didn't just put like a hidden valley ranch on this this is peppercorn ranch peppercorn and parmesan ranch to be exact and it really goes good with it. it's nice and creamy Kind of sets it off a little bit, sets the pace. Look at that. Woo-wee! Looks fire, and it is. Mmm. That chicken tender in there, nice and crispy. Let's see if we can pull out the rest of it here. You can kind of see. That thing is just sauced up to the max, you guys. Whoa! Look at that, huh? You guys, I'm going to go ahead and do one big bite on this one, get it down. I'm going to get the second one in me. It's that good. Mmm. <laughs> going in on number two these are just sliders not regular size sandwiches sliders supposed to fit in the palm of your hand easy to go down worth a good two or three bites so good though it would be hard to just do this in one big bite and i'd try but i'd feel like i wouldn't enjoy it as much so i'm going to take a couple more bites of this one brand new limited time only buffalo chicken sliders at arby's oh dropped it on my pants Check out that white chicken, huh? That nice, all white meat, chicken breast tender in there. 
that's exactly what this is. It is a full size uh, chicken tender like you'd order. They're just tossing it in some sauce. That buffalo sauce is actually pretty decent. I know you guys are already curious by now, how spicy is it? And if you if you aren't already used to my reviews, I have a pretty uh, pretty spicy palate. I like hot food. I'd give it like a like a five. It's a good medium. It's definitely more than a mild. If you don't like spicy food that much, or if you're really sensitive, this is probably going to be a little too spicy for you. It's not bland. It's not generic. It's not like a super mild hot wing sauce. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but that Parmesan peppercorn ranch kind of comes through, cools it down a little bit. But of course you have peppercorns in the ranch, which add a little bit more substance to it, a little bit of extra spice. So you kind of get that black pepper spice, the Tabasco, Frank's red hot spice, the chicken, the ranch, the really nice bun. Look at this thing with a split top. Love it. I think that of all the sliders that I've had at Arby's, and I believe I've tried all of them sometime last year when they first came out, this of course being the newest one, this is probably my favorite. The value for $1.29 isn't bad. You're getting a full chicken tender, you're getting a nice soft bun, you got the peppercorn ranch, and super friendly service here at the Forest City uh, Arby's location. I love it. All right, I'm gonna go in on my last bite, big bite of this uh, buffalo chicken slider here. Suggest you go check it out. I'm gonna give my rating real quick before I do it. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this an eight. I thought it was really good. Um, not really sure what I'd improve on it, but it's pretty proportionate for a slider. It's exactly what you'd expect. Why didn't you give it a 10? I think that if they offered like a different sauce, like blue cheese, I probably would have liked this a little bit more. I'm not really big on ranch with buffalo wings or tenders. I like the blue cheese. I like a little bit of that funk. Check it out, big bite. Mm, 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 so good. <laughs> And it's done. <laughs> Thank you once again to all my subscribers for checking out the channel, checking out this video. We're almost up to 7,000 subscribers, you guys. Look forward to a special coming up very soon. Once again, I appreciate all the comments down in the section. Let me know what you think about the uh, 60 FPS, the higher frame rate on this video. If you like it, if you don't like it, if you want me to switch back. I'm your host, Justin, here for another Fast Food Pit Stops. You know you love it. You want some more of it. I'm going to give you as much as you want, as much as I can do. We'll be back for more Fast Food Reviews. Bye, everybody.